So I uh, recently came out to my dad as gay. Uh, yeah, but that's just his opinion. Uh, yeah, all it took for him to think that was for me to order boneless wings. <laughs> but yeah, I got a weird family, for example. So my grandfather, sorry about him, he fought in the Korean uh, restaurant. Uh, <laughs> That last joke is bullshit. This next thing is 100% true. My grandpa got addicted to meth at 67 and started dating a prostitute. Yeah, really hard to think sex and drugs is cool when you associate it with Papa. <laughs> yeah, if I saw somebody snorting coke off a hooker's ass, I'd just be like, why are you doing that old man shit? <laughs> My aunt, a lot of drug use in my family. My aunt smoked crack at Christmas. Yeah, I know, Thanksgiving drug, right? <laughs> and she tried to hide it, because she came in smelling like burnt plastic and perfume. And she thought the perfume was gonna fool us. Like, we're just gonna be like, ooh, who's freebasing lavender? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, in order to procure crack cocaine, my aunt would provide oral sex. What? Oh, have you guys heard of this? <laughs> and some people will be like, how good must crack be? People are doing that. And I feel the other way. Like, how good could a blowjob be? You're going to give away your crack. <laughs> I have yet to have a blowjob I felt like was a crack worthy performance. I went to go visit my aunt and my grandpa in the trap house they lived in. And there's a sign outside that said, leave your drama at the door. Yeah, imagine getting kicked out of a crack den because you were bringing too much drama to the table. Yeah, like it's just full of guys smoking fentanyl next to their baby going, yeah, but I'm no gossip. <laughs> My aunt since got clean, which sucks for me, because now she's way harder to shop for. <laughs> like the rest of my family, a lot of times, they'll be like, why do you have so many jokes about her and not us? And I gotta be like, maybe try doing something as funny as sucking dick for crap. <laughs> But yeah, I was around drugs a lot as a kid. I remember in school, they gave us a sheet, and it was a list of all the drugs, and we had to write down what we knew. And mine just looked fucking crazy. <laughs> I was like making fun of the kid next to me, like, oh, you never heard of PCP before? <laughs> That's that shit that makes my sister's boyfriend go berserk. <laughs> Yeah, I'm from Tennessee, obviously. Uh, oh, any fans of the opioid crisis? That's... You know one bright spot about the opioid crisis? When I go home, I gotta visit less people. Don't owe that. That's my shit. If I wanted to owe it, I'd owe it. Yeah, first time I saw heroin, I was 13 years old. Only way I can describe the feeling is it's kind of like if you go to somebody's house and they got a PS5, but the opposite of that. <laughs> it's kind of like, where'd you get that? But in like a bad way? <laughs> but I, I don't, I'm sober myself, I don't drink anymore. I just stopped, I was blacking out too much. My main worry while blacking out was that I would spill my emotions, you know? I go up to my buddy and be like, hey, I didn't forgive my dad last night, did I? <laughs> I used to drink and drive? H hell yeah. Uh, it's sick getting away with when a cop pulls you over, you know, sick getting away with the 
DUI. Because like if, at first when you get away, you're just like, like relieved. But then you're just like, oh no, the, that means the roads aren't safe. <laughs> Like, the cops, when they pull you over, they always ask this first, same question. They're like, where are you going? And it's like, what, do you want to come, motherfucker? Like, like, how lame would I be if I showed up where I was going with a police officer? I was like, quit trying to make fucking small talk. I'm a drunk driver. <laughs> So my mom, uh, she recently got a genealogy test, because that's what poor white trash does when they get money. Uh, they're just like, maybe we're black. Uh, I'm gonna skip to the end, we're black. So none of you motherfuckers better be touching my hair after this. touching a black man's hair is how you say the n-word in sign language. <laughs> yeah, I'm from the South. Very racist in the South. The South is so racist, even the South in Africa is racist. <laughs> like, the only place more racist in the South is the past. <laughs> yeah. Like, they teach the Civil War really weird in Tennessee. They teach it like it's still a mystery why it happened. <laughs> They're just like, North was just jealous, I guess. <laughs> you know how they get. They see a country boy hustling. They get <laughs> like, Southerners act like all we were doing during the Civil War was smoking weed in a log cabin, and then the North attacked us. <laughs> we're just like, we're just a bunch of innocent guys who happen to own some innocent guys. <laughs> uh, very homophobic also in Tennessee. Uh, my parents, they would always refer to gay guys as gay guys. <laughs> very homophobic phrase, you know? Like, no gay person ever comes out of the closet like, Mom and Dad, I'm a fucking gay guy. <laughs> My dad loved guns. He was always say the only way to stop a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. But what I always wondered, it's like, who's going to stop the good guy now that he has a taste for blood? <laughs> I want to get a gun though, because I like to go to parties, yeah, and the guy with the biggest gun at the, car at the party gets to dictate the town. If you want to know what sort of childhood I have, uh, I had, uh, we uh, lived near Little Caesars. Yeah, you haven't seen true poverty till you've looked at any area around the Little Caesars. Like, that's the sort of pizza I would get after I donated plasma. Yeah, the tagline should be, uh, well, there goes the neighborhood. It's the fucking pawn shop of lunch. Like, when I go in, I don't even pay with money. I just slapped down my mom's wedding, wedding ring. And I'm like, how much crazy bread is this gonna be? <laughs> but being a uh, grown up poor, a lot of times I'll have to talk to people that I know their lives have been better than mine in every single way. And it sucks, because I gotta act like I don't hate their fucking guts. <laughs> I'm looking at them like, oh, you no bed bug having motherfucker. <laughs> Like, you got no clue what it's like to put your head down on a pillow when you're six, and it's actually not a pillow. It's just a square-shaped rat. <laughs> Bougie-ass probably hasn't even seen a rat. 
much less know, knew they could be comfy. <laughs> Man, I'm a weird guy. Uh, this is true, I'm on the autism spectrum. Yeah, I'm on that part where you don't have autism. <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking about getting a face tattoo, already creepy looking, might as well go all the way with it. <laughs> I know you look at me, you see, what if Dr. Seuss drew a sex offender? <laughs> <laughs> Time to get a face tattoo. But they say it lowers your chance of employment, so mine is just going to say, I fucking love to work. <laughs> But I always think weird thoughts. I remember when I was a kid, I thought it was really dark how in high school they had a class president and then they also had like a class vice president. Yeah, someone just to step in in case the real one gets assassinated. <laughs> like a weird thing I was thinking the other day, it's like, do you guys think cuckolds ever go through their girlfriend's phone just to make sure she's fucking other guys? <laughs> Weird thing I do, I sit when I pee. No applause, all right. Only issue I've ever had while sitting while peeing is scraping the urinal cakes off my ass. I think I'm a weird guy, I have a weird relationship with my mom. Yeah, I was a kid. when I was a kid, I found her vibrator. Yeah, worst part, used the same charger as my phone. Isn't that crazy? One cord brought our family all that happiness. <laughs> Funny thing about my mom, she's from the Mississippi Delta, home of the blues. And she's also severely mentally ill. Didn't get diagnosed until she moved to Tennessee. And I actually wonder if she was going to the doctor in Mississippi and they're just like, you got the blues, baby. <laughs> I prescribe you two doses of rhythm. <laughs> I don't go to therapy, though. Because I don't like motherfuckers getting my motherfucking business. <laughs> Somebody try to show me one of those ink block tests, I'd be like, you know what I see? A nosy bitch. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell so far, I'm not great with women. Uh, or as my people call them, bitches. And by my people, I mean guys that don't fuck. Yeah, it sucks, because all I think about is women and money. Yeah, I'm always thinking, why do I owe all these women money? I did date a girl recently. She has that thing that Will Smith's wife has. Oh, yeah, gay husband. Uh, <laughs> she told me this. She told me my penis was bigger than she thought it was gonna be. I got average size penis. That means she thought it was gonna suck and then was pleasantly surprised it was just underwhelming. <laughs> She also told me this, she told me the clitoris is a lot like a very small penis. And if that's true, I don't think we give women enough shit for having tiny dicks. <laughs> like, I'm just saying, I may not have the world's biggest penis. At least most people could find it. You know? <laughs> she also said big feet means big penis. And if, that, if that's true, how can we call him Bigfoot instead of the fat? It's like, no wonder the motherfucker's so blurry. They're censoring the huge cock. She was a smoker. They say kissing a smoker is like licking an ashtray. Yeah, that's true. I finally found an ashtray that can suck a mean dick. <laughs> First time we had sex, 
sex, she asked me to choke her. Pretty intense for a first time. And she kept going, I'm not feeling scared enough. <laughs> and I had to be like, I think I'm scared enough for both of us. <laughs> We had to break up. I found out she was cheating on me because uh, our pet parrot kept going, uh, fuck me harder, I love to cheat on my boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, so I guess, I guess she was fucking our pet parrot. Uh, <laughs> what I... I love to fuck. Who loves to fuck? Oh, man. You know what my favorite part of fucking is, is the line. My favorite lie women say is it's like, oh, it's so big, I don't even know if it can fit. And then you stick it in, and there's a suspicious amount of room. <laughs> and I'm a dumb motherfucker. I'm just like, she's got no clue. She's got a huge pussy. <laughs> There's a lot of things with sex that I think are unfair to women, like the term chicken head, you know? Like guys will use it to make fun of how women look while providing oral sex. That's fucked up. Because who looks at somebody blowing them and goes, well, she looks ridiculous. <laughs> like, all I'm thinking while getting sucked off is, is it too soon to ask for a finger up my ass? <laughs> Like, if a woman doesn't finger my asshole, I'm just like, does she not like me? <laughs> Another thing I think is fucked up, there's this old saying about the double standard with men and women in sex, uh, that a key that can unlock a bunch of locks is a good key, but a lock that could be unlocked by a bunch of locks, the keys is a bad lock. But what I wonder is, like, what about a lock that can fit three keys inside of her at the same time? <laughs> See, that's a good lock. <laughs> There's a key in the corner. He's unlocking himself. Because <laughs> that's his lock. He likes to see it dominated by other things. <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys some sex advice. <laughs> Never do dirty talk when you're hungry. Because she's gonna say something like, I wanna swallow your comb. And you're just like, no, I'm eating that. <laughs> They use magnum condoms. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sick of the stereotype they're for big dicks. Yeah, they're for, they're not. They're for huge loads. Like one time this woman, she rushed me while I was putting on a condom and it's like, do you want to get this done right or do you want to get AIDS? Like, I'm not personally saying I have AIDS, but that's getting AIDS behavior. I had to buy lube recently. You can't buy lube with anything else. Because then everybody's looking at you like, he's putting all that stuff up his ass. That motherfucker's gonna put that Lunchable up his fuck. <laughs> I found this out recently that when a woman squirts, it's mostly pee. Yeah. Is that fucked up? This whole time I thought it was all pee. All right, this is a big, this is a big last joke. It's about pussy farts. Got in with the pussy farts. People that like pussy farts are so crazy. Like, 
I think it'd be crazier if you were making love and the woman's vagina just started hiccuping. <laughs> It's like, oh great, now I gotta go down there and scare it? 